what is up everyone this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel using the same kind of magisk manager sometimes being boring and i have a little bit of ui changed magisk manager for you if you use magisk on your device regularly use magisk modules and some kind of things like that you might love this kind of magisk manager magisk manager app and in which i like this kind of thing magisk with a colorful written text which looks a little bit of unique here and looks very very kind of interesting the home ui is quite good and a lot more things which are the things you get in this kind of magisk manager how to install this and is it better than the default one everything else in this video make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started quickly so guys whenever you install magisk manager on your device right now and nowadays you get this kind of ui here the ui is not bad and it's very very good till now i am using this also from some time uh, this is the latest one and unique one also but yes using this kind of same ui again and again sometimes keeps you boring so i have a very cool kind of magisk manager update for you also the magisk scannery update is quite good which i already made a video on so you can go and check it out on that also and the thing i'm I'm gonna show right now is also a little bit very very unique kind of thing how to install that first of all you have to uninstall this module this magisk manager from here so just click on uninstall click on ok and after uninstalling then you have to install that app from your file manager i'll put the link in the description for that file so what you need to install is magisk old.apk first you have to uninstall the default one then you'll be able to install this let me just turn my brightness less now and now it's good click on install and it will be installed successfully it is only route 2 mb i'll put the link in the description for this kind of magisk and it is done just open this once and this is the default ui which you get here let me turn off the dark mode because the dark mode doesn't look nice and this is the default look which you get after installing this kind of magisk manager which gives you a very cool kind of ui and also of course this is the old one as you can see installed v7.1.1 the latest one is 7.5.1 so if you want to update that you can update that but i will not recommend you to update because then it will again rewrite the this ui to the newer one which we have previously installed so this ui looks very very cool it has all the same kind of features like the safety net the uninstall magic uninstall magisk option is available root will be fully removed from the device this is the feature i personally liked about this is the feature yes these are the features all features are available in magisk latest version also but the position the ui is kind of a change thing this is the main highlight of this thing also the way it is written here magisk manager looks very very interesting super user the permissions which you grant through the app whichever you grant which app you grant the super user permission notification logs and delete whatever else you want to do you can check out which are the modules you have installed you can go to the repository option and find out the module section and this is the module section which you get here updates installed and not installed and this is the ui which i seriously personally like and it is better than the default one in my case your opinions might be different but yes in my case it's very very cool you can simply install whatever else you want to install from here right now everything is kind of the same thing as expected it has a logs options available as expected also and the settings it has same kind of options the dark theme is options available here update channel you can check the updates periodically but i'll recommend you to turn off this if you want to keep this kind of ui on to your device available also it has same kind of features like you get in magisk manager super user access multi-user mode and the super user notifications etc kind of things but this is the default look which i personally like this thing and if you also liked it i'll provide the link in the description for this app so you can download and install that i already shown you how you can install it just have to uninstall the previous one then you will be able to install this and now this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel if you're new here and now uh, thanks for watching goodbye